Hello guys, John here from Titan Medical Center and today I want to touch on some serious strong points about what Titan Medical Center does better than anybody else out there. So let's get into it. So Titan Medical Center has been around for over a decade. Yes, me, Sharice and the Titan Medical Center medical staff have been doing this for quite a long time. And we've pretty much got a good thing going here as far as we know what we're doing with our patients. We're going into different cutting edge therapies for our patients. We're following up with our patients. We're making sure our patients are happy and getting the results that they want with health as the number one priority, okay? Because without your health, you have nothing else. No results, no relationships, no job, no nothing. So we really gotta focus on the health. Get you healthy so you're feeling good from the inside out, right? And that will reflect. But Tight Medical Center really does care about your health. That is truly the number one thing that is on our minds with our patients. We go above and beyond for each one of our patients. We truly want to treat them like Tight Medical Center family. Tight Medical Center starts out with a patient. We want to make sure that we get all your medical history, your family history. We really go in depth in your medical consultation with the medical provider so they can give you a true and personalized regimen that's really going to help you get the results that you're looking for. Okay. After that, we want to make sure that we're following up with you every 28 days, making sure that those therapies are working the way they should be, you're feeling the way you should be good, hopefully, and getting results. And if not, we want to make sure you guys are expressing that to us so we know that we need to change some things because one thing might work for somebody, but it might not work for you the exact same. So we got to make sure we get you dialed in, right? And we want to follow up with you, like I said, every 28 days. But if within those 28 days, there's an issue, or you have a complaint, or you want to give some positive feedback, you're more than welcome to call, text, email us, and we're going to get right back with you that same day and get you the answer that you're looking for, or take the feedback, whether it be positive or negative. Now, we really don't get too much negative feedback, but if we do, we want to correct the problem if there is a problem so that you're happy as a patient here with Titan Medical Center, because we want you to be around for a long time. We don't ever want somebody to feel like we're just throwing therapies at them or our providers are recommending everything to them or we're letting them pick their therapies because they might not know what these therapies truly do for themselves, right? So at that point, we want to make sure as a tight medical center patient, you guys are feeling good, looking good, and performing your very best every single day. So by that, you might get a text message every 28 days or a phone call or both. That's just for us to check up on you. Some people say, I don't need this or I don't need that, but we want to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to follow up with you. Now, when you get a text message, you might say, well, I get a ton of text messages from a ton of people. That's okay, but I can tell you one thing about a text message you're going to get from a type medical center. It's going to be from a person, a real live person. It's not going to be from some bot or some software that's just sending out multiple and mass text messages. That's not the trick here. The trick is to have a personalized response to you. That way, when you write something back, we can follow up with the answer that you're looking for or get on the phone with you and go over the things that you need to be covered. So these are just some of the different things that Titan Medical Center does to make sure you as the patient are happy and getting the results that you are looking for. I'll say it again and again, because that's where it really comes down to. It's a personalized experience, it's concierge medicine, and it's personalized to you you that's it nobody else so if you guys are looking for somebody that's going to really look after your health as a medical provider that's really going to be interested in what's going on with you and try to hit your goals whether it be health wise or fitness wise Titan medical center has your back so call or text today 727-389-3220 you guys want to check out all our different therapies go to titanmedicalcenter.com and we also have all these therapies explained some of the medical staff and more content when you go to our YouTube page. So let's go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I promise you like all the cool content we have. I appreciate you guys, and even if you don't become a patient, we love you guys and we wanna make sure your health is number one. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. I just wanna let you guys know how easy it is to sign up with us. All you have to do is call, text, or email, or you can also go to our website at titanmedicalcenter.com, click the tab, and fill out the new patient paperwork. Then you can be seen via FaceTime or Skype. You don't even have to come into the office. You can then have a consultation with myself or one of our other awesome providers. Here at Titan, we offer hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, anti-aging therapies, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies, 
hangover and rejuvenation recovery, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, blood work, peptide therapies, IV therapy, and we service nationwide. Whether it be boosting your immune system function, building lean muscle mass, whatever the case may be, we're here to help. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? We're back again. My name's John. I'm the CEO of Titan Medical Center. I'm here with my good friend, Thaddeus Bullard, a.k.a. Titus O'Neill, a WWE sensation. So, you know, today he stopped by, you know, he's on a couple different therapies. So I said, hey, listen, Thaddeus, why don't you just highlight with one therapy that you might like a lot, right? And he talked about Hercules Potion, which is our injectable vitamin amino acid therapy. So I'm just going to pass over to you, let him tell you, you know, kind of how it feels or what you're getting out of it really. Yeah, the, the biggest thing is recovery, you know. Um, you can buy aminos, amino acids over the counter, put powders in, I've been doing that for years. I usually do it now just to flavor my water because uh, the, what, what I get with my Titan product, it gives me the opportunity to know for sure that I'm getting all the amino acids that I need to make sure that I get the best possible recovery I can possibly get. And with all the travel that I do, the training I do at 5, 5.30 in the morning, um, and just all the running, hustle, and bustle. Amino acids, to me, is one of those things that everybody should have within their uh, regimen oh, yeah. for training and nutrition, simply because of the recovery aspect. Yeah, I mean, even day-to-day, -day, right? So precursors to you know amino acids are building blocks of protein. So these help in all different aspects, from your branched-chain amino acids all the way down to glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, mm -hmm. NAC, and L-carnitine, which are all in Hercules Potion. Um, the BCAAs you're going to get from Titan Complete, and that's what we're going to put Titus on next, so he has that full component aspect. But, you know, anything from recovery from glutamine, arginine, L-citrulline, great for vasodilation, blood flow, that massive pump, that pump that holds about four to six hours. Ornithine, let him do more strenuous workouts and activity because he's in there, right? And he's only got a limited amount of time to get everything done to hit the goal that he wants to do. So he's trying to maximize time in there and maximize the results by doing this. And then you have all these other things like NAC, it's great for liver functions. Lysine, which is great for immune system. He travels a lot, right? And you have L-carnitine there, great for blood flow, great for muscle building, and you have proline in there. So, you know, he's been through a lot of different things from football to WWE and all these things getting banged up. So he needs some extra lubricant in the joint areas to make sure he can, you know, walk and not look like the Tin Man, right? Yeah. You don't want to look like that when you're walking down. I'm feeling like it sometimes in the morning, too. <laughs> I have to get on my regimen. Readjust, you're yeah, like, ah, sure. ah. Oh, man, I feel like that. But he's definitely been through more wear and tear than me, I think. Um, but, yeah, so we just want to highlight Hercules Potion for you guys, give you guys the full insider scoop from Thaddeus, a.k.a. Titus O'Neill. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming down Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Love you, bro. Tighten up. <laughs>
16 meters. You're welcome. Woo! Ross has a little tub in here. I'm gonna go to the view outside. I'm gonna get a shower. Yeah, it's pretty Sitting area. Uh, hey, bedroom. Family. Family. You guys are right here. Oh yeah. That was number two. That was beautiful. Hell yeah. Here. <laughs> you ready for this one? Double beds, which probably know you'd be in here. Got some bathroom. Uh, friends coming in. Yeah, she'll take the next king. Okay, okay, yeah, perfect. So you want to show me that? Yeah, sure. Okay, that. Right. Right. You got a media room right below us, right? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You want to go right. this way then? Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, this oh, is perfect. Is this is where we're gonna have our movie. Yeah, movie night. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I like it. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that, right? This is so pretty. Oh, nice, nice gorgeous set up to Let's get some tequila. Yeah, tequila. 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 Oh, I really love tequila. Right. Guys, how can you not like tequila? Right. This is the kitchen. Yeah, I'll take the next to the kitchen. Oh, wow, everything's nice. Cool. Right. 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 Go right ahead. All right, so we're going to um, we'll do downstairs and then we'll go back up. I'm going to tell Allie I'm making her room for her. I'm just back to the house. I'm about to do a room for you. All right, so if we go through the hallway here. To the left, yes, please. We're gonna need air tags on each other. Oh, look, Peter! 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 Oh, Peter! Oh, Peter! 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 It's a back. 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 You should make that just like a ringtone or something. Yeah, I'll just like hold it. Or just have it as a recording so you can just press the button and be like, let me hit that button real quick. Yeah, that's like I'm going to take it back and you suck. Top views. I'm going to sit here for a second and chill. Nice. Yeah. Good throw. Private beach, we'll show you this tomorrow too. And that water during the day is crystal clear, you can see right there. Lobster, steak. Sticky toffee. Yeah. Yeah. Sticky, sticky. Right. Sticky, sticky. <laughs> sticky toffee. Uh oh.
Pete. Damn. 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 What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, me and my beautiful little wife over here. Every week, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things will hopefully accelerate, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. I like that word, accelerate. Accelerate, That's right? Point, yeah. It means speeding to get there. Mm -hmm. right? We want to make sure we're doing it the right way, too. So every week, we're bringing you guys these great tips and tricks and information, like I said. And uh, it's something that me and Sharice maybe have went through through our 15 years of relationship here um, and marriage and kids or different things that we picked up either from couples that we know or have seen out and about. So at that point, we can help you guys because you know what? Love's not easy and relationships are not easy sometimes either. Sometimes they can't. Yeah, they won't. I mean, it's easy with John, but sometimes it really can't be easy. Yeah, so at that point, it's always a work in progress, right? So you want to be the best you can for your partner and vice versa, reciprocating that back. So this week uh, is, is a good one, I think, for couples too, as well as single people. Because if you're single, don't worry. Just take all this great information we're giving you guys, store it in the back of that head, and at that point, utilize it for your future relationships, and hopefully that'll be a successful one. But, you know, when we talk about life's pressures mm -hmm. and how to deal with it, whether you're a couple or you're a single person, you know, I, I think there's pros and cons to both avenues, unless you have a good partner, okay? And, you know, the, the pro is to me, I think that when you have a partner there and it's a good partner, you know, when you are going through life's problems of whatever it is, now that might be affecting both of you guys at the same time too. So this could kind of veer the partner away then at that point. But if it's going through it by yourself and your partner's there, then they can support you and help you and, and kind of get you back to where you need to be and make sure you don't go too far down and spiral, right? Because it happens to people. Mm -hmm. um, they get down on themselves and, and it, you know, sometimes people can't pick themselves back up and that's what a good partner can do for you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, on the other end of it, if you know, there's something that's affecting both partners at the same time or the situation that affects you guys both, right? Um, then at that point, you're going to have to work with each other right. because you're both down. It can be tough right? too because, I mean, if you guys are both going through something at the same exact time, whether it's over one thing together or you guys are both, let's say you guys are both going through job issues, Yeah. right? Both you guys, and, and that's a tough one. And I know it's a hot button for a lot of people out there because a lot of people fight about finances. So if you guys are both going through, you know, let's say job issues, you know, you have to ask yourself like, how do you support your partner when you're going through it too? Mm -hmm. So it's, there's gotta be a happy medium somewhere in there. And I really think it, you know, learning your partner and your partner's behaviors and some of your partner's gestures and picking up on just signs, behaviors and different things that you've picked up over the years, months, trends. weeks, trends, you know, um, I think it's important to pay attention to it and then apply it to how you're reacting or how you're handling the situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, the, the, the one, you know, that's one of the biggest arguments and divorce breakers is financial problems with the couples. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whether you're single or you're a couple, 
it doesn't discriminate. There's people that just are not financially sound or know what to do with money, or they're really bad with money, okay? Yeah. Uh, and at that point, you know, that affects the partner, that affects the person, and, you know, the financial thing, if, you know, you're both losing your job, per se, right? Then you gotta come up with a plan together, you know, whether it's, you gotta help each other out. I mean, you might only have one car, so you have to go, hey, listen, I'm gonna take you to yours, or you're gonna take me to my interview, and, you know, this is how we're gonna work it. So you have to have a game plan together. So I think, Communication, talking is key to this. Always communication is um, key. You know, and coming up with a battle plan instead of fighting each other on it. I think, you know, being open with the, your, your partner and being able to help in that light is going to help you guys both out. And, you know, one one gets up and at that point the other one gets up and then you guys are both up together. And now you guys can't around. both be down or both be up at the same time if it's you tough. guys are both going through it at the same time. It's tough, you know. I, there's, listen, you know, we're, we're not immune to stuff like that too. There's been bad things that have happened to me and Sharice and it hit us both at the same point in time. So at that point, it's like, you know, we both had to do what we had to do to get up together, right? And we both support each other. And there's been a lot of different things. I mean, you know, a minute thing, you know, in the light of things, not to me, obviously, is, you know, my dog just getting cancer, right? Lymphoma. So that hit the family real hard. We're all down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to get up just when just talking about that situation. That's not a relationship thing, but it's just a little fine-tuned Well, I mean, it's guess, kind of right? one of the reasons why we maybe did this episode too we like to try to keep it current with even like what's going on with me and john um sometimes it has nothing to do with what's going on with me and john because me and john some of the things we bring up on here we've already been there done that yeah. we're not doing it again kind yeah, of thing yeah. um we're definitely not doing it again so you know um but you know finding out something like that that takes a toll on the entire family obviously because pets are you know kids you know they are our kids so, you know, I got like, I got like seven kids, you know, mm -hmm. I, John's dad counts as two, but <laughs> regardless, you know, they are like kids. So, um, you know, you, you got to figure out like, you know, when one person's down, like, you know, which one is gonna, you know, I mean, both of you guys can cry at the same time, but you know, which one of you guys is gonna do a pat on the back and be like, all right, it's gonna be okay. And then the next one's gonna be like, all right, it's gonna be okay. And you guys have each other's, you know, learning who they are. Some people, they wanna be left alone and they just need to process it. Mm -hmm. You know, they gotta, they gotta process it and they wanna be left alone. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean you have to leave them alone for days, just you gotta maybe leave them alone for a little bit, mm -hmm. let them process it and just let them go through it, you know, whatever, the, however they handle it. I mean, I was even telling my son, you know, people handle things differently and that goes for relationships too. Everybody handles things differently. Some people, they want you to be by their side mm -hmm. and just maybe ask them every five minutes, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Are you okay? I mean, some, some people actually want that, you know, it's, it's crazy to think that, but maybe they don't want time to process it, which they're going to have to process it eventually, but maybe they don't and they want to be, you know, sidetracked per se. So, you know, you really need to learn your partners, you know, what they want, what they need and, you know, be able to provide that for them based on what you know about them. I agree. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think, I think that's a good point. I definitely think it's a good point. I mean, for, for couples out there, they're, you know, experiencing things like this, you know, like I said, supporting communication and having a game plan together and where you guys are gonna go to succeed mm -hmm. with this. Um, and, and nobody's immune to it either, right? Like I said, we we have examples of our lives. You know, my friends have examples of their lives. I'm sure you have your own examples of your own life uh, and your relationships too as well. So, you know, with this, you know, there's different ways that, you know, to be able to handle some of these other pressures too, because not just all financial. There's, uh, there's different things, you know, there's expectations that you maybe wanted to achieve and, and that's kind of bringing you down and that's a pressure on you that you haven't accomplished it yet, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have this job by 25, I'm going to be retired by 40 or whatever it may be and <laughs> that, it never that's happens. That's mine, that's mine. It never happens, right? <laughs> that's or, happening for me. Or, or it's been delayed for some reason or another. Well, that, yeah. and, and you know, you start feeling pressure on that. Women start feeling pressure if they haven't had kids, you know, some women, I'm not saying all, but you know, women have pressure they haven't had kids by a certain point, right? Because, the, you know, the biological clock is ticking. You know, in, in the future we live in today, girls can have, you know, kids a lot older, but this is something of concern. It's something that goes on internally with some of the women. Um, you know, guys, you know, it's, you know, it's a whole, whole different expectation of what you want to be and how you want to be, and, and that's a life pressure too as well. Um, and just fitting into wherever you're at, right? Your social... Uh, uh, 
climate of a people and, and having those pressures of those peoples, right? Whether it's keeping up with the Joneses and this person has this and you're, you're, you're trying to, you know, it's not, you're trying to compete, but you, you're automatically in that rat race yeah, to a I certain agree. extent, right? Yeah, I definitely um, agree. You get, you get kind of dragged into that and that's another life pressure you might have to deal with. There's so many out there and then kids. That's another aspect of a relationship that when you pressures. get to that level of pressures. You know, um, it, it, you got to be able to agree to disagree and then disagree and then agree again, you know, on different things yeah. with, with what's going on with your kids. And hopefully, you know, you stay in that relationship with your partner and, the, you know, the child has a father and a mother that are right there. But that doesn't happen a lot either these no, days. No, no. You know, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, no, no problem if you want to get a divorce. We've had a divorce. That is what it is. But, you know, at that point, you know, it's like, you know, you want to do what's best for the kid. And listen, if you guys can't get along together and you guys are better separate, then that's what's best for the kid, I guess. Um, you know, it, it, everybody's different. And for my eyes, I don't think so. But some people's eyes, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we're old school. So, you know, you know work through it, I make it happen. You got to work out the problems. I think uh, there's or try. There's too many people out there that want to take the easy way out. Yeah, they so, just give up too easily. It's so easy to pull, pull that, you know, that parachute. And just you know get out and inject so you know it, it's it's tougher to stay in that work out the issues but remember though utilize all of your scenarios as you guys grow together because that's what's supposed mm -hmm. to happen utilize every single one of them don't look at them as a bad situation try to turn it into a positive thing where it's like okay this is just another building block on top mm -hmm. of another thing that we're going to build our big relationship on yep. you know we're going to get through it together whether it's your problem my problem our problem it doesn't matter. We're going to get through it together. Yep. That's going to be the key. Definitely. So that's it. Another week of Cupid's Corner by me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. Uh, make sure you guys can tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. Or if you don't get to catch on ABC, you can DVR it. And if you're not in the state of Florida, no problem. It's on all our social media platforms. But I would go over to YouTube <laughs> and go over there and subscribe after you type in Tight Medical Center and find our uh, page. Yep. Subscribe, get to see all these great shows and more. And then me and Sharice are always going to be bringing great topics and information for you guys to help you guys out. And if you guys have anything you think we'd like to talk about or you want to talk about, then just send us a DM and maybe we'll bring it up on a show and uh, answer your questions or go over these different things for you guys. So we see you next week, 11 a.m. Sunday on ABC for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. See you then.